See, I'm going to grow up and be a real winner, just like you. As a matter of fact, very seldom is he a winner. Bummer. Hey, y'all. Tom, ND3N here. Thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. This time I'd like to do kind of an after action report on the uh, FT Roundup uh, contest, which is a FT8 and FT4 contest. Now I did pretty well, uh, 397 contacts and 65 multipliers for a total score of 95,805. Now that's pretty close to what I did last year. Not quite there. I made a little over 400 last year. That of course is a preliminary score and it will probably go down after the log robot gets a hold of it. Geez, sorry I'm not a robot. Uh, speaking of the log robot, <clears throat> when you're submitting your Kabila file, uh, the information in the file header is critical. Now, if something is off on it, the robot will send you an email with what needs to be corrected. Just uh, correct your log and resend it. Now, I've included my header, which has been accepted by the robot and that you're free to use as an example. Of course, you want to put your own information in there instead of mine, and I have redacted some details for privacy purposes. Now, when emailing it, send it to the email in the rules, and I'll go ahead and just stick it right over here and uh, in the video description also below. In the subject line, only put your call sign, nothing else. Uh, you don't put anything in the body of the email and just attach your Cabrillo file as a text file. Uh, it should be what was output from your computer. Now, anything else might get you an email from that robot. Uh, don't ask me how I know. I had a choice. I could use my uh, FT991A or my TS890 for uh, the rig for the contest. I opted to use the FT991A because I wanted to see how well it worked under pressure. Now, I can happily report that this little rig performed flawlessly with no problems at all. Uh, cat controls and codecs and uh, everything else did their job without a hiccup. Uh, it ran for well, somewhere between 23 and 24 hours over two days, all at 100 watts, which is the max power out on HF uh, on 80, 40, 20, and 15 meters. Uh, I did check 10 meters, went back there and cut, checked a couple times. I heard no activity when I checked. And I, it's a contest. I didn't want to sit there and wait for a half hour or so. That'd be just uh, wasting time in the contest. Uh, I did use both FT8 and FT4 modes. Now, please don't ask me to, to compare it, uh, the two radios. Uh, the two rigs are in completely different classes. It would be like comparing a, a Prius to a Tesla. Yeah, they're both uh, HF capable and both use uh, digital signal processing, uh, but the DSPs on the 890 are far more complex and capable than on the 991A. Uh, it's just a function of the price range that you're getting. Uh, the ability of the 890 to pull signals out of the noise far outreaches the capability of the 991A. Now, that's, I'm not putting down the 991A. This is what you would and should expect from a rig that costs in the low 1,000s versus a rig costing around 4,000. Uh, I happen to know that the rig, uh, that the 890 will handle long hours at full power uh, doing a lot of work. I've used it for several dozen contests over the last couple years. And uh, it, voice, CW, RIDI, PSK, uh, and um, FT8 uh, and FT4 have all run through this rig with no problem uh, for hours at a time. My concern was with the 991. And now I put a, uh, 
I put a review out and I tell you what, I will pop it, I, I think it's going to pop like right up here, but it might be right over there. I also get confused because I'm working backwards and mirror imaged. Now the software, right over here, this is pretty much how I had it set up for the contest, uh, worked as, as expected. I was using a WSJTX, of course, along with a grid tracker and HRD logbook. Uh, now they were all interconnected, uh, no glitches. Uh, although the map on the grid tractor was nearly useless, as it bases its path display on the Maidenhead grid locations, and the contest locations were states, provinces, and DX countries. However, everything else worked, and I can't flaw it for not for. I was giving it bad information, so it couldn't decide exactly what I was doing. Uh, despite this, I'm now sufficiently confident in my knowledge of Grid Tracker that you can expect a tour and setup type video on this software within the next My week. overall takeaway from this operation is that the FT991A is a hardy little rig that supported this contest admirably. The software worked better than I expected. Each contact not only was logged in the WSJT contest log, but to my ham radio deluxe logger and direct to logbook of the world, real time. Now, a few days before the contest, I had had a problem with my antenna, a Gap Challenger DX. When some moisture got into the bullet uh, connecting the coax run to the antenna, then froze. But I had a spare. Uh, actually, <laughs> I have around a half dozen spare, uh, and I was able to replace it and redo the water sealing tape around the connection. Haven't had any more issues with it. So uh, I probably got another two years before I have to worry about that again. <sighs> this was an enjoyable contest, and I look forward to others like this. Now keep an eye out for uh, more contest announcements. Goodbye. Goodbye. But wait, there's still more. Thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. Uh, this time, a report on my experiences with the FT Roundup contest. Now, I'd be interested in your experiences, so please leave a comment. Tell me your score, tell me any glitches, tell me your workarounds. I'd love to hear it, and you'll also be sharing it with other people watching this video. Uh, please give me a like and share this video with your friends, especially on any ham-related uh, type uh, social media groups. Now, I usually share with a few groups on Facebook, but I'm sure that there are a lot more Facebook groups that I'm not part of, so I don't share there. They, you could do it for me. Also, Instagram, Parler, Twitter, Getter, uh, any of the other social media that you may be a part of. Now, here's the original video announcing the contest. Take a look at it if you haven't already. As always, I'm at your service. I'm Tom, ND3N. 7-3 until the next time, and I am out.